Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm actually off to Home Bargains. I'm off to two different stores with my mum. First of all, I have an appointment at the diabetic clinic again. I had one a week ago and I have one in two weeks as well. It's not a fun time of year for me. Um, so yeah, I have an appointment with my um, diabetic specialist nurse in a second and then we're off to Home Bargains as a little treat afterwards. So we decided to go to the two biggest stores near us. Um, I'm really excited to go there so I figured that for this video I'd kind of like bring you along show you what's new in and everything like that things that like catch my eye um and then maybe in the next video I will bring you a haul if I buy anything I'm not 100% planning on buying much I don't need anything um I might see some stuff that I want Tommy's birthday is on the weekend um so yeah who knows anyway I'm just gonna go and stop rambling so yeah enjoy <laughs> I am going to be on the voiceover a little bit just to kind of give you a few pointers but these um, nail art bits and home bargains are definitely not one to miss. Um, I use them for a lot of different things like for DIYs and everything. Some people skip past them but I definitely recommend them for like you know doing the details and everything like that. I use the ones from Home Bargains and Poundland all the time. I also love the candles in at the moment. I will give you a closer view of them in a bit. Another great thing in there at the moment is the faux flowers. I adored them. They had so many nice peonies like daffodils and everything and they would be brilliant for spring DIYs so I've tried to give a good overview of those as well as like a flick for other prices so you can compare them to other stores in your area. Another cute thing was this Easter tree. It was just $5.99 and it actually had like these little light up eggs on. They were like glittery inside, kind of like these lights here, but it was a really great bargain. Although it doesn't suit my house, it may suit many of yours. Another thing that I kind of really like in home bargains at the moment is like the raffia boxes. I use them from Poundland mainly just because I have them but I have also picked up a few of these in the past and would recommend them if you're going to be making a few DIYs such as Easter bonnets or little kind of decor pieces. I adored these bunny jars and these little lamb mugs. I do have one very similar from last year. My mum was back at it again with those little racing animals. I feel like I'm just going to have to buy them for her because she finds them absolutely hilarious. Moving out of the seasonal stuff, I just dotted around the rest of the saw, so make sure to keep an eye on anything that you may like. I'm absolutely obsessing over the bee collection in at the moment. Um, I did pick up some of the plates and everything like that. I'm looking for a um, like a ceramic jar, um, but I just can't seem to find it in any of my stores. I did ask someone, um, but I'm just kind of waiting out for it to appear. They have this really nice eco-friendly kind of like cleaning section and this sewing box as well which I thought was stunning. They did have the new disinfectants in there which are kind of like this similar to like the floors and everything. I didn't pick any up so I can't give a review but I have had a lot of people raving about them. In the gardening section they did have a lot of faux plants but I was really really drawn to like these milk churns I thought they were absolutely delightful I think they would be perfect if you have like a big fireplace if you want to put some like flowers or something in it if you want to I don't know what else you would store in these um, but I thought they were really really lovely they had small ones as well which I was really really close to getting they're kind of like you know two hands worth of size i also seen this light up kind of solar fairy house it was called a cabbage hotel and i thought it was so funny as my nickname when i was a child was cabbage which is kind of a weird nickname but it just really spoke to me i couldn't even if i tried 
They had loads of like neon inspired lights, loads of different fairy lights of all different themes. The ones that caught my eye at this time were these photo clip ones for $4.99, these little pom pom light bulb ones, and also they had like balloon ones, which I thought were crazy. They had like a pink themed one and then like a rose goldy kind of copper themed, and I thought they were beautiful. And in the right room, I think they would look great. I also noticed a lot of like zodiac themed stuff, so there were like, you know, books there was glasses signs that sort of stuff so you're into that no one when it is it could make a great gift they had like different themed ends this one here kind of reminded me of like megan ellaby's new home i don't know why just the dark tones i thought it was gorgeous they're these cute little like clocks which i thought would be perfect for um, like a kids room they had the llama and the unicorn and then a huge array of different mirrors and clocks and everything which would be nice throughout like you know your normal house your everyday living they had so many frames in like huge ones which would be perfect for mother's day like pop a picture of yourself in or something they had loads of little signs including this one which was actually a metal one for 29p what a bug and loads of other signs just you know to dot in around your house to fill out the wall decor it would be perfect Now I really really love this lantern and I was going to get it until I realised that the inside of it is like really really glittery. I didn't really like that but I know some people will so if you see that in store and want to have like a good close up, um, yeah it's nice and glittery inside. It had so so many candles in, all of them were so nice and the wedding section, oh my goodness, it is one not to miss honestly everything in that is so beautiful there's so much like rose golds coppers um blush pinks all the colors that you would expect that are really on trend right now i think if you were having a hem party you could kit out the whole thing in home bargains for a fraction of the price that it would cost like on like other online sites or like hobby craft and everything it's kind of like a hobby craft feel but with the home bargains price i thought it was great I absolutely love the little heart rattan basket. I thought it would be perfect for like a centerpiece. I almost did get it for the coffee table in the living room just to put like knickknacks in. Um, but I restrained myself. But for $2.99, I don't think you can go wrong at all. Next, I found the kind of, you know, shelf with all like the Wickford & Co um, candles on. I was a bit apprehensive of these but I had a gingerbread one at Christmas and it actually burnt really nicely and I was really really impressed with the scent payoff. They had all sorts of like different like flavours of scents and stuff in stock and I would definitely recommend checking them out for a little Mother's Day gift or just, I don't know, a gift for yourself. <laughs> My store had a whole aisle full of glasses, reusable cups, mugs, that sort of stuff. So if you're into your mugs, then Home Bugs is a place to be. They had so many cute little gift sets as well for like these ones here. I just thought it was so adorable. And they had this cute little cat mug as well with little ears on. I don't know. I thought it was so, so sweet. I did notice that the Jane Asher stuff is now in Home Bargains. I'm not sure if it's always been there and I'm almost 99% sure that Jane Asher used to do the range in Poundland. I went into Poundland recently to get some Jane Asher stuff and um, they didn't have it, which, you know, she must have sold to Home Bargs, which, you know, I felt good on her. Get your money, girl. Anyway, they did also have a marble section and a rose gold copper section as well. My kitchen is actually um, copper just because of like old pipings and stuff like that. It was only best to keep in the colour scheme. But I really like these jars as they did have like copper accents on them, which I thought would be perfect. Another thing that I wanted to show you was this washing up bowl. My mum bought it with a little sink drainery thing in. It was $2.99. She's given a review and she said it works really well and she's really happy with it and yeah that's everything this is actually my little haul going on i did pick up a few things so that will definitely be coming in the next couple of days or so just when i get around to filming that um like i said i wasn't sure if i was gonna actually buy some stuff but now that i have i will do a haul for you um but yeah there were some really really nice things in that there were so many nice kind of springy bits and easter bits and everything and 
I'm expecting there to be a few more now that Mother's Day is just like coming up so that will eventually go and the new kind of eastery springy stuff will be coming in as well as more summer stuff and I don't know I'm just so excited for it because this oh yeah oh that just looks a little bit funny sorry um this is going to be the year that we finally get like a barbecue and everything so I'm really excited so yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video I know it's a bit weird um but maybe you've seen a few things that you like that maybe you know you want to go find yourselves the thing that I'm on the hunt for is you know like the B range where they have like a jug there is a ceramic jug I haven't seen in any of my stores but I know a few people have been looking on um like Instagram stuff they posted pictures of it in there so I'm just waiting for it to pop up in mine we have quite big stores here with quite a lot of stuff in so yeah obviously we live in Cornwall so not a lot of shoppers go in and that much just you know up country and everything um but yeah i'm really really excited to kind of get my hands on that one um i have seen it sell on ebay for a ridiculously marked up price so yeah it's just a case of getting my hands on one i don't want to spend you know three times the price that it actually is in the store so yeah with that being said i am actually going to go now i hope you took away something from this video if not just had a fun little time looking around because I love to watch these videos just to be a bit nosy, get a little bit of inspiration for crafts, that sort of stuff. I love watching them like from other countries as well, like the US videos, like walking around Walmart or, you know, World Market or something. I don't know. I just love it. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a few days, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know, for the Home Bargains haul. Okay, I'll see you then. Bye!